This clip is all about how to save memory cue points to your SD card. Okay, the last thing to talk about when it comes to queuing is how to save your set cue points to the memory card so you can recall them later when you're in the mix. Now you'll notice the numbers at the top left hand side of the display. On this CD they go from 1 to 14 and you'll also notice that currently we're on track 1 of 14. So these numbers relate to how many tracks are actually on the CD. Now what they do is they let you know what tracks actually have cue points saved to them. So if we go to track 5 and zip on a little bit, set the cue point, but now hit the memory button up here, comes up card memory, memory flashes there, you get a little red line at the top and you've saved it to the memory. But notice that track 5 now has a red line underneath it. So that lets you know that track 5 has a cue point saved to the memory. If we then zip on to track 8, go on a little bit, set a cue point, hit memory, you'll find that track 8 has a, a little red line under it. But notice how there's a red line for track 5 even though the number 5 isn't there. Now it's not just one cue point per track that you can set. On the same track 8 I can zip forward or even further, set another cue point, hit memory and you can see I've now got two red lines. I'll hit the search button to skip right through the track a little bit. Okay, I'll then hit Q and I'll hit memory and I've now got another one. Notice that all the Q points, I'll do, do it again while I'm saying, all the Q points have a little red line next to them so you know whereabouts in the track they are. So I've got to there, hit Q, hit memory so I've now got one, two, three, four Q points saved to this memory card for track eight on this folder of this CD. Now that's how complicated it gets on the little memory system. So I have to put this CD into into the CD deck that has this memory card in it. It doesn't know that every time I stick in, play around on any CD deck that these Q points are stored. So it's important that you either copy across all of your saved cue points or you just remember what deck has your saved cue points. If I want to, within this track I have the four cue points, if I want to zip back to the first one while still on the last one I just have to hit the call button. So if I hit the call minus button you'll notice that the green line jumps backwards. So if I press, so I'm, this is that's me at the first cue point. If I press it once, I'm up to the second cue point, and again the third, and again I'm at the last one. So it's just left and right calling up the cue points for the separate tracks. Now, if I decide that the second cue point is actually useless, I go back using the call button, and while I'm sitting on the second cue point, just hit the delete button, and it gets rid of that cue point. Now the cue is still set there. But that's only because that's the last place that we set the queue by going call. If I zip forward, the queue now sets there and we've lost that queue point forever. So in case that needs clearing up, if you have a red marker underneath the green dashed line, that is just your queue that you've set once. If you had red markers on top of the green line, it's the ones you have saved to memory. It shouldn't be too hard to forget because you have memory and queue there. So make sure to carry your SD cards around with you and you'll never lose a cue point. Remember you can save hot cues to your SD cards as well, that's coming up in another video. For more tips like this please check out www.recess.co.uk and of course take a look at DJing for Dummies out now.